In this um, video we're going to look at how to publish your sites to make it available to the general public. So once you've completed your site you need to come up to the little purple tab in the top right hand corner saying publish. So you click on that and that will take you here. You can make a web address. I'm going to change this to say making robots. It only likes, doesn't like um, spaces or anything in between the words. So just put a dash in between the words and they'll accept that. Now at the moment only people who've got a Morton Bay College's um, account can actually view it and I want to change it and make it available to the public so and click on manage this pops up here and then I can change this so um, the draft and the publish site I can say public okay so the public publish site is now public so if I go done on that and I, I can request the public search engine not to display my site you know I'll leave it as it is so and I just go publish and now my website is now being launched and is available on the web to anyone to see. You'll notice the publish tab over here now has a drop down because there's a few different features to be aware of. First off you can click here, you can change those publish settings, um, you can also um, review changes and publish. So if I actually make a, um, uh, a change, add an additional kind of um, page or make some updates it won't automatically roll out to do to make the um, updates roll out I've got to click on here and say change review changes and publish um, and then finally you can unpublish it so if you want to actually make it come back so it's not a viewable by the wider um, if you want to take it back off the web you can do it that way so I'm just going to show you about that update so I'm just going to add a um, object detection I'll just say um, Let's just add in something else on the page here. Line following and uh, three sensor. And I'm just going to add a new sector here. And just going to say five um, sensor line follow. Uh, I'm going to make that the heading that I had there. Right, now that's now changed. Um, that's now changed my page. If I come to the drop down, if I say review changes and publish, and it will come in here and let's say this is what I actually have, and this is the changes that have happened. This is the draft, and this is what is currently out there. So to accept it, you can see the changes between the two there, the green line gives me a point, and I can say publish, and that will update it out to the public. So, and again, if I want to make it that this no longer available to the public, I can click on the drop down here and I can say unpublish. So that is all the things you need to be aware of. Oh, actually, sorry, there's one last thing. If I've got it published, which I have here, to provide people with a link so they can see it, you say view published site, and that will take you to your actual site. And you've got the URL here, which you can then provide to um, people so they can actually view your website. So that's everything you need to know in relation to publishing your website.